Good morning, everybody. Hello. We are here in Honolulu. We are. Mm -hmm. And where we're starting out, babe? We are here at the Diamond Bakery Factory. Now, those who are not familiar, Diamond makes the, the cookies mm -hmm. that are in like all the markets and even on the mainland. They have it in the Asian Hawaiian markets. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, very good. They're very, they're very, um, they have like little mini cookies. They even have all these different kinds. We're actually at the factory. You can, I don't know if you can see the process, but I know it's a store here. So we're going to visit and get some cookies from the right. store. And our sister's here. My sister Linda's mm -hmm. here. Your sister Leslie. Mm -hmm. They're over there. Right there. It's the wave at them. They're waving. Right there. So we're going to jump in there and get some cookies. Yep. And it's open to the public, 10 to 2. So anybody can come here and get That's some right. cookies. Mm -hmm. Freshly made diamond cookies from Hawaii, baby. We're at the source. We're at the source. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Hi. First, I just walk in the door, and you're automatically greeted <laughs> with all of the cookies here. Oh, wow. Look at that. They have a 30 pack. I like that. I don't know if you can see if I can take pack. it home. A 30 pack. Oh my gosh. 10.99. Of animal cookies. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe a case of 30, 10.99. Hawaiian biscuits. Not bad, right? Different ones. Yeah. And these are the ones we've seen like in the yeah. market. That's the price. Let's look on this side. Good morning. Pineapple. We have that. Macadamia pineapple. Uh-huh. We got coconut, ube, chocolate chip, or taro. I did a chocolate chip. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, I, I gotta go with the coconut. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, thank you. The monitor in the back, that's live right now. Oh, there is. Oh, how cool. Okay, thank you. So from that wall, <laughs> okay. you're going to see. Oh, okay. That's our original store. Um, something. Um, Zippies. Uh-huh. That's where that was. Okay. And we moved here in 74. Oh, wow. That's when the process of cooling down starts. Wow. Yeah, yeah look at that. That is crazy. And these, <laughs> this is all live feed, right? Yes. Wow, nice. There's all the uh, packaging going on. Here's a free sample. I got the uh, coconut one over here. Oh, yeah. Try this out. That's real cool that they, you know, bake all of these in the house. There we go. It's a good one. Mm. Got that great coconut flavor to it. I like the shortbread, nice and light. That's yeah, delicious, wow. Mm -hmm. So the store isn't very big, but it's really cool because like these you don't see in stores that often. And also those right there, the puff and ready ones. I don't see those and those are the original ones. Mm -hmm. And what's nice, it gives you the prices and the prices are very good here. So everybody comes here probably to get their snacks for the week for the little geekies. Yep, I always see uh, people coming in and out. Yeah. So cool display here. Um, love that the the variety that you mm -hmm. get over here. You get things that you don't see in the stores, and if you're looking for a variety and maybe they're sold out, you most likely will find it here. You guys got some good stuff. Oh yes, we got a lot of good stuff. We got the little ones so that because we need to stick it in our carry-on. So yeah. we need to make sure we have right, enough right. room. Yeah. <laughs> Les has got the smart idea, get these little ones right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Always room for yep. those. <laughs> so we're looking for Ronald. He's the uh, manager here. Right. He said he was going in the factory somewhere, so we're looking for him. I don't see him yet. There he is. We found him. Yeah, he's walking really fast. <laughs> going somewhere. Yeah, he's going way over there. Here he is right there. We found him. Yeah. That's why we didn't see him for a while. Yeah. I think he had to suit up. Right. right. And then he's getting something. So he's getting a few cookies in a bag. Right off the <laughs> factory line. Yeah, right off the line. Here we go. Yeah, cut off the line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hot off the line, baby. I wasn't kidding. Oh, yeah. That is live over there. Oh, yeah, yeah not yeah. kidding. <laughs> we got you on film, too. Yeah, we did. We're running through the factory. Right here. here we go. Try it out, babe. And then animal crackers. Oh, yeah. Mm, they're soft. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm. 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 
Thank you. They're really soft. They are. Very heavy guava taste, huh? Oh, you like them? Crispy, mm -hmm. very flavorful, mm -hmm. fresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and animal pepper. In fact, I get, you just bought some uh, chocolate ones right mm -hmm. here, right? There you go. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Oh. They're crispy, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a good animal pepper. It mm -hmm. is. Mm. That's good. <laughs> Gonna wrap things up here from the Diamond Bakery uh, factory store. She didn't do too bad. We got some goodies, that. a lot of goodies in there. Those sisters are going crazy though. Yeah, they're buying a lot yeah, of stuff. They are. Oh yeah. And this has to hold them over until December because we'll be back in Oahu in December. Yeah, that's so right. That's we'll right. We'll see if it holds them over. Right now we have some uh, special yeah. lunch plans. Yeah, we do. At the Alamo on the Mall to a yeah. place we've never been. Yes. Yeah, so we see you there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thank see you, ya. thank you. Bye-bye. We made it to Jade Dynasty here yeah. at the Ala Moana Mall. Yes, we're at uh, Ko'okipa Ko Terrace, where all of these restaurants are. It's on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. Jade Dynasty is supposed to be the biggest and the best dim sum here on the island. We are dim sum aficionados you know we had some good stuff yeah so yeah and we haven't been in china yet but we've had some good stuff so yeah. we're gonna, so we're gonna go ahead and check this on out yes i'm excited i'm hungry too i am too yeah. lisa yeah for a party of four i don't see any carts rolling around so you just have to order with the server you can have a regular menu or here is the dim sum order i had no idea if you open it up this is all your dim sum they have Whoop, oh, hold on, there you go. And yeah. they have a lot. And you just mark the uh, quantity of dishes that you want. Right. Even on the back too, right? Yes. Oh yeah. So there we go, they even have some chef recommendations right here. So yeah, we're gonna go over this and see what to get. Yeah. Very good looking restaurant in here. It is big and I'm pretty sure they have like extra separate rooms if you're doing banquets and things like that. Right now, this is their dim sum on a Monday. So this is like off time you would think, but this room is crowded. They do walk-ins. We had a reservation, but they do walk-ins as well. They have that separate menu for regular table service food and they have dim sum. So we're ordering the dim sum. It's a very inviting here and it's a uh, busy. So you know, if something is this busy, it has to be good. Yeah, very lively, yeah? Yeah. So this is one of my favorite dim sums. It's called a ham gok. It's like a deep fried mochi with a ground pork and some a uh, little bit of veggies in it. The mochi has a nice like deep fried exterior to it. A little bit sweet I'm getting and that filling. The, I think it's like water chestnut and a little bit of ground pork in it. Wow this is delicious. Wow. Love it. This is their custard tart here. You can see all the breading that's on there. It's very flaky looking. Good yellow color in there. Let's try this out. That's really good. It's nice. It's a very flaky. I thought this breading was just going to be too much, but it's very thin actually. And it's warm and it has that really good eggy vanilla taste. This is a good one. Beef noodle dish. You can see, look at all that beef in there. It's like major. Let's try this one out. Very good flavoring in that beef. And it kind of just melts in your mouth. That noodle is done excellent. The sauce is a little bit on the sweet soy side. You can taste the onions in there. Yeah, this is a this is a winner. Look at the color on this char siu over here. I think they call it like a honey chashu. Wow, this looks beautiful. Look at that combination of meat and fat on this. Oh yeah, that's really good. Maybe you could just get one. What I love about this chashu, it is not dried out. You know, sometimes you get this in restaurants and it, you always have some pieces that are kind of dry. No, this is very, very moist and a little bit on the sweet side. This one's very good. This is delicious. Let's go ahead and try this out. Yeah. This is hot. So I'm hoping I won't burn my insides out here. 
Ooh. No, wait, one minute. Come back. My pork had time to cool off. Let's try this out. A very nice and tender pieces of pork. For me, I want more black bean taste. But this is very good. You can tell the quality of this pork. This is really good quality pork for this black bean, but I want a stronger black bean taste. But it's good. Let's go ahead and try out this duck. It looks moist. This is a serving size. Oh, yeah. So it's right a there. very good shareable serving size. Let me get a piece of this duck. Mmm. That's a good flavor duck. The skin right here. Mmm. A little bit crunchy. It's done very well. Now that little bit crunchy so the skin in that fat and the juiciness of this duck. Oh yeah. And this is a winner. I have to say, this is one of my all-time favorite ducks so far. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have to try that one, babe. It's a, you'll like this one. This is the Shaolong Bao. This is the XLBs right here. Uh, we let it cool off for several minutes now. So uh, we're hoping it's going to be okay. All right. We put a little bit of show you on it. Here we go. I think it's humongous. Oh yeah, that's a good flavor soup in there. And it's still on the hot side, so I'm glad I let it cool off. The uh, the wonton is on the thin side. Good filling in it. I think there's some pork and some chive maybe. But yeah, great flavor on this. Now when I saw chicken wings on the menu, you know I had to get it. Look at that nice, crispy, golden fry on this. It is hot to the touch for sure. Let's give it a shot. I've had like fried chicken wings from other Chinese restaurants and they know how to fry it. It is so juicy and that fry is light and crispy. These are great chicken wings. Wow, delicious too. Before I show this, I want to show how much food we have on this table over here. This is a feast. This is a lunch feast over here. These are the bows. This is the one that is like combination of like steamed and baked. It's got a little bit of coating on it. If there's no paper or anything on the bottom. Let's try this out here. Oh yeah. It is so delicate that it's kind of crumbling. Let's give this a try. Great barbecue pork filling. The top is definitely sweet. It's got very fine sugar on the top of it. And with the combination of that barbecue pork, yeah, this is great. Uh, is it better than the, the one from Tim Ho Wan? No, I think Tim Ho Wan has it. But this is, this is really good though. This is a meal in itself here. This is like a Hainan chicken. It is a poached chicken, has cucumber, has some rice, has this really good scallion ginger um, salt little mixture here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of this on my chicken. This piece right here. That looks so good. It's one of Leslie's nice favorites. Let's try this out. Mm -hmm. This chicken here, it is room temperature. It is juicy. You can taste, usually the chicken isn't flavored in any way. They usually just boil it and cut it up. This one has a little bit of flavor to it. I'm not sure if it's a little oil or something. Not just what I stuck on top, but that is good. Recommended. With all of that food, we did really good. Almost polishing off almost everything. Well, we had some help for sure. Yeah. Everybody helped out. Yeah. And we needed it for this meal, but we're ready to move on. Second lunch, babe? <laughs> Maybe. We're not. We're going to walk around. Not sponsored at all, but my work shoes, my regular shoes, these are like the best shoes ever. Yeah, which is the Hoka store. Uh, yeah, see? Everybody in. Everybody. <laughs> Except Linda. Linda yeah. doesn't have her. No, she, she don't have his Hoka's on. Sorry, not today. Yeah. So we're going to go look inside. All done at Alamoana. Yes, we did our shopping. Look at, you only had a big bag. 
You got some shoes? Yep, we got some shoes. Now one more spot, spot and then what, baby? Oh, uh, we might shave have some shave ice and maybe some cookies. Who knows? Maybe. And we love cookies, right? Yeah. Only about five minutes away from Ala Moana is Ward Center. Ward Center is another shopping area, mm -hmm. has free parking, but what they have the best thing, which I didn't know still existed. I remember coming back here like 20 years ago, still exists now is the Crazy Shirt Outlet. Wow. Yeah, so it's right behind us, has all the shirts in there and you can see you save up to 60% off. Yeah, I'm a fan, let's go yeah. see. Look at that, Linda already found something. I know, the Grateful Dead, oh my God, this oh, is like, wow. way yep. too funny. You're bringing it back. Yes, yeah. so, this is an outlet store, and it's like they can sell things lower price because of a little flaw. I thought that was a big island right there. <laughs> yeah. Here's another great one, I think I'm gonna get this one. This is Koli, that this is where we're staying at, where the Disney Aulani is. But look at the price, it was regular $51, and it's $17.99. Because of what? A little line. A little line right there. I can barely notice it. Barely notice it. What a deal. When was the last time you saw Crazy Shirts for 18 bucks, right? Here at Couple A Commons, mm -hmm. right behind us is a new Island Vintage. Yes. So we're Coffee. ready to go grab. I mean, the girls have to have shave ice while they're on the island. That's and right. we wanted to give them something other than the ones that they sell at Al Alani. So we right. came here and it's only like a five, 10 minute drive. From yeah, I think, yeah, very Alani. close. Yeah. But you know what, I, I think we are gonna come back here tomorrow. We are. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, we wanna give the girls shave ice experience because did you really come to Hawaii if you don't get shave ice? No, right? no, they yeah. have to have some shave ice. They have to. It's divided into two sections. We're in the shave ice, shave ice section and then there's the coffee section next door. Yeah, I believe they also have full meals and everything yeah. over there now. They do. I got the Hawaiian rainbow, so Thank it's coconut, you. strawberry, and okay, perfect. So Thank I can't you. Remember the other one, but let's try it. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Let's see. Let's see if I can get into the ice cream. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of ice cream, but let's try it out. Yes. Mm. Cold. <laughs> Oh. Wow, it's really good. Let me get a little bit more with the vanilla. Oh, wow. It's really good. Oh, yeah. And that has the uh, condensed milk. Yeah. In it too. And on top. So I really like it. Oh, yeah. It's your first uh, shave ice in Hawaii. Kids, um, pineapple with um, ice cream, vanilla ice. And so, there it goes. Mmm. <laughs> I love pineapple. Very, very good. Very delicious. Yeah, it should, should be almost like creamy. Right? Yes, it was very creamy. Yes. Um, I think it was like six hundred five for this. It's very, it's cute and small and just perfect for me right now. Yeah, it, it's good. even the uh, shape of like a uh, dolphin, mm -hmm. the tray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, so uh, yeah, you guys are officially in Hawaii with these shave ice. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Thank you. We got the uh, tropical paradise to share. Now we have a couple other ones we want to try out tomorrow, but this one has a little boba, this little popping pearls in there, and it's got mochi and the condensed milk. So this looks really good too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. It always amazes me how shaved ice can taste creamy. It just blows me away all the time. This one is delicious. I love the combination of the flavors here. I'm going to try some of the, uh, the little pearls. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a little passion fruit, bursting balls is what they are. They're amazing. Yep. I have to say we are um, officially in Hawaii with this. Get mine ready here. I got the little bit of this one comes with those popping balls and it comes with um, condensed milk. 
So this yes. has condensed milk on it as well. Oh wow, that looks like a very cold bite. Let me and get a little closer. And the ice cream in the middle. Oh, ice cream in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's fresh. Mm -hmm. I love how this shave ice is just so fine. It really just melts in your mouth. There's the ice cream right there. Soft serve ice cream right in there. Mm -hmm. oh. Just melts in your mouth. It's um, a very, almost like a very thick uh, smoothie mm -hmm. that you can eat with a spoon. Oh yeah. It's good. This location of Island Vintage is a coffee and wine bar, so I had to get my coffee. I got the Hawaiian latte. Hawaiian latte has a little bit of macadamia and coconut. Oh yeah, it. it's my favorite. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then I also had to try, it's just not any regular banana bread. This is a mochi banana bread, so we had to try that out. Let's go ahead and get some of this banana bread. You can see in there. I don't see any nuts, right? It's just full on. Oh, there is a nut. So these have nuts in it. Oh, wow. Good banana flavor that comes through. It's so soft. It just barely like really melts in your mouth and along with my Hawaiian latte. Doesn't need anything in it. You can taste the macadamia nut and the coconut. Um, this is delicious. This matches well together. It's recommended. I mean, I can't find a Hawaiian latte anywhere at home, huh, baby? Yeah, it's kind it's of difficult. Yeah. And uh, this comes uh, iced mm -hmm. version as well. Iced or hot, but mm -hmm. I'm a hot person, so I got the hot. You definitely are. Yeah, thank you, baby. <laughs> You got stuff on your arm. They're laughing over here. Good morning. Now we're staying here at the Aulani. Uh, it is early in the morning. The sisters are still sleeping, so we're hungry. We're gonna probably get one of these acai bowls. Yeah, we're, we're with right that Ulu Cafe. Yep, Ulu Cafe. But they even have full breakfasts if you're in the mood for that this morning. Yeah, they do. It's kind of a a brief. Yeah. But we you know we have some lunch plans with the sisters, so we're just gonna get our acai bowls. They're really yeah. good over here. Yeah. They are. So we're just going to order it up and uh, eat some breakfast. We're not in the mood for any like big breakfast or acai bowls. They also have regular fruits, all different types of fruit and little parfaits. Yes. Yeah. And there's those strawberry it's a ones right pina there. Pina colada yogurt. Oh wow. Look at that. And some hard boiled eggs. That, oh, that's, that's my what favorite. You like. Yeah. Ah. So it is breakfast time. They have only two different types of acai bowls. Mm -hmm. They have one that's a traditional one. Which is right here. Mm -hmm. And then they have one that's a tropical one. Right here. This is very good size for $17. Really good size yes. acai bowl. I think really the only difference between the two is this one has blueberries. And strawberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they, they both all, have bananas. They both have chia seeds and honey. but. They make them to order. So if you don't want something, you just tell them. Yes. So here's our spoon. And of course, you know, uh, like all restaurants, they ask if you have any food allergies yes. and things mm -hmm. like that. And it's nice that they only have two types, so it's mm -hmm. easy to pick. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Okay. This looks really good. You can see the honey in there. Nice, oh, yeah. cold. Look at that. I saw you yeah. right on the bottom. Mm. Oh, yeah. That looks good. And, you know, uh, before you mention, yes, there probably are better acai bowls on the island, uh, maybe cheaper, but you know what? We're staying here. It's a matter of convenience, and it's good. Mm -hmm. Nice and cold. Mm. That's really good. Mine's a little tart. Mm. Is it on the... It's good. I think it's... Papaya? Yeah. Pineapple? I think it's the um, mango. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, they drizzle some honey on it. They did. Which I love. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish these off and then see where our next adventure takes us. We made it to our lunch spot. Yes. Of course, we have covered Janie's several times. We have. But we're going to get something different off the truck. Yes, we are. Yeah, you know, I saw some salt and pepper shrimp. I Never that. had it before. Yes, that's true. Yeah, and we'll and see what else they have. Linda wants coconut shrimp, so we're going to get that for sure. Yeah, maybe Leslie yeah. too. We'll see. Right? Yeah, there they are right there. There they are.
We just placed our order, and it seems like every plate is 16 bucks, so that's pretty easy to remember. And look, they have some kind of group over here. It's huge. They got like, they got like 20 yeah. plates over here. Okay, Linda got the coconut shrimp, which is which is a fan favorite. Can't go wrong with that. And let's the first time trying the lemon pepper. So you got to let us know how that one turns out. And babe, what you get? I got the original butter garlic. Butter garlic. And new for me is the salt and pepper shrimp. So everyone has something different over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Of course, you have to get the butter garlic, the OG. Look at all this butter garlic here. And it's gotten busy here. That's like a, a tour that came in. Yeah, it's a prime time, 11.40 a.m. right now. Let's go ahead and try this rice. Mm. Mm. That is garlic heaven. You have to love garlic to have that one. And let's try the shrimp. Look at nice butterfly. It has all that sauce in there. Let me go ahead and suck off this skin for all that sauce. Did you clean their hands, honey? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's so much juice on the skin. You have to suck the skin first and you open up for that meaty goodness inside. And this is, you can't do this any more lady-like. You just gotta go ahead, get your fingers in there, peel it down, get that shrimp. Oh. Excellent. First time getting the salt and pepper shrimp. In Chinese restaurants, I love getting the salt and pepper pork chops. It tastes like uh, almost like fried chicken. Very good frying. But let's try it out for the shrimp. Mm. Wow. That is a unique flavor to it. It's um, kind of light, light peppery. Kind of hard to explain. Not very salty, just a little bit. Here we go. Even after I peeled it, you can see there's still some salt and pepper on here. Oh yeah. Follow up with a little, little bit of rice. This is really good. Like the next time I come, I might get it again. How do you guys like it? It was very good. It was delicious. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. It's a little it? umbrella right here. <laughs> the salt and pepper yeah. was like my number one. And then the uh, garlic was number two. Uh, the lemon was number three. And then, of course, the coconut shrimp. Oh, yeah. It's always a favorite. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I really enjoyed Everybody it. Everybody liked it. Yeah. You're still eating. <laughs> Not even five minutes from Jenny's is a bakery. Of course, you have to get the snow puppies. We recently had them, but the sisters are missing them. Yes, they are craving it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Of course, uh, you know, we've never tried any of the cookies before. Do they have like peanut butter? Oh, look at that. My favorite, they have peanut butter right there, babe. Oh, we're gonna try that out, babe. Yeah. And of course, this is what we came for. They have four trays. They got plenty. And uh, they're looking at some souvenirs over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at this. We got the goods. Oh, six should do just fine, right? Oh, yeah. There's four of us and there's six. It's perfect. That's good math right there. There we go. It's been a little while since Leslie had one of these. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the proper stance because it's yeah. going to be like powdered sugar, like falling. Mm -hmm. She's doing kind of like a snow puppy beignet mm -hmm. stance. Yes. Oh, okay. Stance? Yeah, yeah. You got it. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. So light and fluffy and look at all the yummo right here. Oh, yeah. And all the filling in it. Yeah, that nice yeah. custard, right? So good. I think yeah. like it. I waited. Eight months for mm -hmm. this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of places that uh, kind of make it similar. Yes. But you, you can't beat the original no. one though, right? You have to come here for the OG. Yes. Yep. So now 
They're enjoying it. Uh -huh. I had to get the uh, uh, peanut butter. Okay, I got the peanut butter cookies. First time we're trying these. Let's see how they are. These smell so good. They do. Yeah. Nice peanut butter. Go ahead, babe. Yeah. Mm. They'll come late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crunchy and flaky, but very peanut butter taste. It's yes. very good. Yes. So not only do they make good snow puppies, good cookies too. Well, it taste reminds me of the inside of a butterfinger. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Inside of a butterfinger. These we are delicious, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad this what? About 10 of them or so, yeah. 10, 12, mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect, yep. yeah, mm -hmm. love these. Oh, how much was everything, babe? Um, 27 bucks, mm. so kind of pricey. Each snow puppy is 3.15, and the freshly baked cookies are 7.05. Okay, well worth it, Yeah. well worth it, yeah. We are back at Island Vintage. Yes, uh, we're meeting a friend here. Yes, we have a special guest for this uh, for this uh, Shea Weiss episode. Yes, uh -huh. and then Leslie's here too. Yes, she is. And so. now once our special guest gets here, we'll show you who it is. Where is he? He'll be here. Our special guest has arrived, Sean. How's it going? How's it yeah. going, Bill? Thanks, Lisa, for meeting me up. And we're going to have some shave ice, some yes. really good shave ice. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. He is the Hawaiian traveler. You guys got to watch his channel. Oh, he yeah, for sure. Awesome local eats. Oh, yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, we get a lot of ideas from, from Sean. From him, yeah. Right? <laughs> but I get a lot of ideas from you two. Uh, <laughs> like, I am a so I learn from... <laughs> the locals can learn from people who are visiting, too. So thanks, Bill. <laughs> thanks, Lisa. Okay, yeah, let's go and get some. Okay, cool. Let's go. What'd you get, babe? I got the matcha island with green matcha tea and with azuki beans. I got the super island and what'd you get? I got the coconut island with pineapple blue Hawaii and this popping boba. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we'll tell you how it goes. Yes, it will. Looks delicious. Yeah. Everybody like this shave ice? Yes. I did. Yeah. I did. It was awesome. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, again, we want to thank Sean for coming along on this uh, shave ice. Mm -hmm. We talked story. We did. It was we all did. Good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me, Bill and Lisa. We had good talks, good yeah. time, and good shave ice. Oh, Everything yeah. good all around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. It was. Perfect. All right. All right. Thanks, Sean. All right. We'll thanks. See you later. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to have breakfast at Eggs and Things. We hear over a year ago, excellent, excellent food, giant portions. Yes. So our goal is to have something, take it back maybe for lunch because we're not going to have a giant lunch because we have an amazing yeah. dinner. Yeah, or just give some to the sisters because yeah. they're both chilling at the room. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, the restaurant's just right across the street from the Albani. Yeah, 10-minute yeah. walk. Now, maybe. last night's dinner, how would you like the monkey pod? It was really good. We, I mean, again, we went to monkey pod like two weeks ago. And so yeah, we, on Maui. On Maui. Right. Uh, we got pretty much the same thing because that Simon is excellent. It is. So we had we had the Simon. The sisters really enjoyed it. The atmosphere is great. It wasn't too busy. We had reservations, but it wasn't too busy. I'm pretty sure they did a lot of walk-ins, mm -hmm. especially during the week. Yeah, it was a that, good adventure. A couple of things we were curious about was whether the menu was the same mm -hmm. on Maui at, here at Kualina, mm -hmm. which it was. It is. Mm -hmm. And whether that Simon tasted the same. Which and it did. both were excellent. Yeah, we can say from monkey pot to monkey pot, it's consistent. Yes, and that was like an experiment, and it passed. Yeah, it did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and plus, you know, we had to finish off with that banana cream pie that we just shared. Yeah, it was excellent. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so now I'm feeling either pancakes or or omelet mm. or something. I love over their fried here. rice here, so I'm thinking maybe something like that. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, because we really enjoyed this place the first time. Yeah, and look at this sun. It's just coming up. It's around 6:45 in the morning, and it's just beautiful. Beautiful sky, no clouds at all. It's as beautiful as you, my babe. Oh, thank you, my babe. Non-scripted. <laughs> we just got seated. This is their specials. I know something a little bit hard to read, but I think I'm gonna get the uh, the Calbee and eggs. That looks really good. It's a little lot because this is delivery truck that's gonna be leaving pretty soon. Uh, so you can scan here if you want to take a look at their menu. But I think uh, that's what we're gonna. That's what I'm gonna get, and we might get some uh, side fried rice on the side too. Our spread came out. So my meal came with either rice, potato, or pancake. We got the pancakes so we can try them out. And these flies are like going crazy on me. They uh, love they you. And we also have our fried rice. We figure we're going to take this back to the sisters. 
with over easy eggs, you can get any eggs you want on this one. There's a great meat in there, and I see fish cake and this goodness over there. Now you are given a choice between a jalapeno bacon fried rice or the island fried rice. Right, and the jalapeno bacon fried rice is the one that especially is in Koolina. Yes. I don't think you can get that bacon fried rice anywhere else. Yeah. What you get, babe? Uh, this is the kalbi and eggs. And uh, I got the, the potatoes because we have plenty of rice. So I got mine scrambled just to mix things up because we have over easy on the other two plates. And I got the ahi. I got the fish. Yeah, they call it the line cut the ahi. The line, line cut ahi. And what's nice is you can have any preparation you want. They had a uh, regular grilled and they had another seasoning. I uh, got that Cajun. Cajun seasoning. Yeah. And I got the fudo kake, which is that sesame seaweed mixture and macadamia nuts on mine. This looks really good. Let me go ahead. And some kind of aioli sauce looks uh, like. Yep, I'm going to try this out. First without the aioli. Oh, that's flavorful. They even ask you what temperature you want the fish, which is really nice. So I said I wanted it medium. This fish is so thin, cooked very well. Because of the furakake seaweed, I don't think it needs anything else. It's very well seasoned, but I'm going to go ahead and try this this uh, little sauce here. Mm. That's a hot mustard-based sauce. So, if you're not into that, skip on the sauce. This fish is done perfectly. It's going to match very well with my eggs. Yeah, and they do give you full condiments for your meal, ketchup show you Tabasco if you so want. On my Kalbi plate, they give you a little side of kimchi and of course, so much eggs. That looks like a three egg scramble right there. And I tasted some of these potatoes. Great little fry on this, it's delicious. So let me try some of this Kalbi out. Wow, very tender. It's got that a little bit of a sweet glazed marinade on this and it is delicious they already took the the three bone out so it's all meat they only give you one man i could use two or three but that one piece amazing look at the way this fried rice is done it's cooked so well you can see pieces of of spam oh no this is like portuguese sausage in there Here's little pieces of Spam. Here's the fish cake right here. Totally Hawaiian style. I like the little crispy bits on that fried rice. Let me go ahead and try this out. And we do apologize for that truck noise. Mm -hmm. it, it's still there, that big truck. Mm. Oh yeah, it doesn't need anything. Huh? Sometimes you have your fried rice and you put some, maybe some shoyu on it or something. This one doesn't need anything. So delicious fried rice how many people do you know use uh, chopsticks with pancakes everybody yeah. does doesn't yeah. it three different types of syrup here you got to try them all right so here's a little bit of coconut right here let's try this one out oh good coconut flavor you can see how fluffy these pancakes are with a little bit maybe guava right here That's a good one. It's actually very kind of sweet on that one. And of course, the good old fashioned maple. Get my pancake. Oh, look, the truck's leaving. Finally, here's the maple. Oh, yeah. That maple one isn't that sweet. I think on this meal, I probably would go with the maple. That would be my favorite. Yeah. Thing. You know, the sisters have never been to Roast Deck Kitchen. And we had to go here. And you know what's in this parking lot? There's a McDonald's. So we're going to get their fried pies. Yes. And um, upstairs, Leslie's never been to Aia Bowl. So we're just going to do a little bit of a walk. Yeah, now we're in the area because we did stop by the, uh, the swap meet. Yeah, the and it's only like five minutes away. Yeah, that's so convenient. Yeah. The swap meet was hot. I smell it. It smells so good. Yeah. Let's go. These things are heavy. 
these are the lunch specials. I just was reading, I just went in there and ordered one and then I read the directions. It's supposed to be one choice with two scoops of rice. I get, I got two. So I'm not sure if they'll always honor it, but this is what we got here. For this first one, oh, we got wow. the roast pork ginger chicken with the gouji, which is like a wonton. Yes, right? it is, yep. And here's their the ginger scallion and sauce, the right? Leslie's okay. mouth is watering right now. And then this one I got with white rice. You can have it with fried rice or noodles. The noodles look really good, but we got uh -huh. the white rice, roast pork, roast duck, two scoops of rice, all the sauce. Yeah, this is the crispy skin pork right here. And this is actually one serving. Is it? Who can finish that one serving? We have the four of us that are going to be sharing this one. But she's going to go ahead and try out a piece. Yeah, look how tender that is. It's the oh, first yeah. time they've been here. Yeah, oh first time. Oh my gosh. And then the two. Okay, yeah, go. try it out, guys. They like flavorful. it. They like oh it. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at that. And the crispy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can't beat it. That looks very uh, juicy too, right? Very moist. Juicy. Yeah. yeah. Not much fat on there. And the taste is really good. Yeah. Popular. Yeah, you know, just like the last place where we had the chashu, it, we've had a lot of dried out pieces and yeah. it's, it's no fun. Yeah. So, this so is yeah. Place. Very good. Mm -hmm. Write in the comments below of which one is your favorite. Oh, out of these four meats. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Roast pork, roast duck, chashu, ginger chicken. Take all, just take all four. Okay. Yeah. Score. Uh, I think you get slice of the lily koi crunch. Yeah, yeah, that's the good one right there. Almost like a, maybe a pumpkin square or something? Yeah. We'll see. Be. Maybe those two baked? Well, ask her which yeah. one is uh, fresh baked today. Okay. Yeah. So what did we get? All of these cakes here are fresh made today. We got a, a pumpkin square and a lemon crunch. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like lemon. Gotta try this out back at the, at the Alani. We'll go ahead and tell you how it is. We are back at the Alani. Now, this is the breakfast nook that they have at the Alani. This is like one of our favorite spots that we get. We got the at, at a, uh, Aia bowl is the lemon crunch mm -hmm. and the pumpkin crunch this is these all of their pies there or all of their cakes are made fresh daily let's go ahead this one looks good and we're ready for the pool as you can tell yes look at that yeah so we polished off the uh the roast meat yeah plates. you can see right here oh yeah yeah it's uh almost yeah. done it's perfect yeah, leslie's still working on it yep the uh, perfect we're four people sharing two plates perfect yep here is the dessert. Uh, Linda's in the shower, but that's mm. her lunch when she gets home. How's that? Mm -hmm. That's a good pumpkin. I'm not even a big pumpkin fan, only because I don't like, I like pumpkin pies and things and pumpkin bread, but I don't like like pumpkin lattes. Like right now, everything is PSL. That pumpkin spice latte. You know what, you can have it. I'm not a big pumpkin spice latte person, but I do like pumpkin squares. This crunch is right on the bottom. It tastes like it's kind of nutty. So if you have a nut allergy, be careful with this one. That pumpkin is so smooth. And that whipped cream on top. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the lemon uh, crisp or crunch. Something like that. Lemon crunch. Yeah. It looks really good. I see the little lemon in between the layers. Great lemony cake flavor, not too tart, not too sweet. It's just right in the middle. The uh, cake is nice and moist. Look at that. You can see the little little crunch bits right there. Yeah, yeah, this is delicious. Uh, do you know how much both of these were? Um, around six or seven dollars each. Okay, six or seven. Uh, freshly baked. Can't go wrong. Mm. Oh, I had that little lemon zest that they put in between the cake layers. Man, that's great. Yep. Love it. Highly recommend this one. 
So, you know, we're here for four days, and can you believe this is our last full day? Yes. And we're finally making it to the beach and the lazy river. Finally. So we got our wristbands for today, and maybe tomorrow, because we have a later flight tomorrow. We shall see. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. It's We were so busy just running around and we seeing were, everything. We were. Plus, though, the pool, and I know the lazy river pools is early, because it's mm -hmm. non-peak season. Yes. So that maybe is also why we couldn't make it. Right. Yeah. So uh, no time to waste. Let's go to the beach. There we go, we're making our way into the beach. My feet are actually burning on the sand. Not very comfortable. Must get in the water. Oh, that feels a lot better. My feet were starting to get hot, man. Oh, it feels really good. There's a lot of people out, look at that. This water feels really good. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. We can do it. It's a beautiful day out. You can see there's like no oh, clouds in the good. sky at all. A little bit less than a bathroom. This is nice. This is actually really nice. It is. Oh. Whoa. Oh, careful, baby. I'm good. The, um, no, it's kind of uneven, yeah, but it's... Careful. But there's no time to acclimate because this water is feeling really good. Yeah. Are you standing up right now? I'm still standing up. Yeah, so you're standing up, and this is how far we are yeah. to the beach. I am uh, five one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's about maybe 20, 30 feet out. Yeah. It does feel really good, though. It feels really good. So this, you know, it, you know, for the first time viewers over here, we're staying at the Alani Resort which is the two towers, as you see, and the lobby is right in the middle. Every time we're in the water here at the beach, and stuff, we always go, why did we come here earlier? You're right, exactly. You know, all the time. And if you see these boogie boards right here, they're complimentary for Disney, Alani guests. So it's not like you have to rent them or anything. You just have to go up there and tell them. I'm not sure about the paddle boards. I think they may be complimentary too. Yeah, he's he's mm -hmm. kind of like right in the middle of all these people. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that's really safe because if he falls, <laughs> he might like fall in yeah. you. But hey, uh, he's living his best life, so let him do it. Another one over there. This, this kid's got the right idea. Just kind of chilling on the boogie board with uh -huh. his life jacket on. Uh -huh. yep. Tons of life jackets all over the place. If you do come here, oh. you're covered. And there's tons of chairs. I remember coming here before and you couldn't find a chair. But on this trip, there's tons of chairs that are yeah. available. Which I'm kind of surprised because it feels like there's a lot of people here. Yeah, they couldn't but have that. Maybe not. Now maybe they're really cracking down on that chair policy where you have to be active. Yeah. The chair. It could be. Yeah. Now it's the lazy river time. Yeah. We're ready. We got our donuts. These are the same donuts you can use for the slide. Uh huh. But we're not doing the slide. I don't think I've missed it. No. Maybe the next one. Get on, baby. What did I you look good. Ready to start tubing? Uh huh. Ready. We'll give you a nice POV on one lap on the river. Yeah. Right now we're standing up. We're standing up in the tube so you know it's not very deep. And it stays throughout the whole lazy river this way. It doesn't get deeper or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I would say the current flow is light. Yeah. Very light. It's not a heavy current flow. You know, a couple days ago, we shot a complete walkthrough of the outside of this uh, resort. Um, 
So yeah, if you get a moment, you know, check that one out and let us know if you like that type of uh, vlogging. We're just trying something new. Yeah. There's a depth right here. So there are multiple exit points along the Lazy River. This is one exit point that goes to like the kid splash zone. And if you keep going to the right, it continues on the river. They're right there. As you see, this is quite a long lazy river. It's nothing that's very short. I don't know how many minutes it takes just to float around. It might take over a half hour. Just to float. Right now we're kind of walking and it's almost, uh, we're almost near the end of it and it's 15 minutes. So maybe if we're just floating around, maybe about 20, 25 minutes. fun was that right <laughs> now we're in the jacuzzi this is the one that's uh i guess on the upper level near the kids the splash zone hardly anyone uses this one yeah so they have like four or five different ones here and we found one all to ourselves Woo! we have an awesome view this time for our room our two-bedroom villa we have the ocean which the sun just came down and today is the luau. You can see everybody moving down there, dancing like what they're doing on the stage. Good morning. Good morning. This is our last morning. Mm -hmm. We have a flight this afternoon, we so we'll be checking out soon. Yes, yes, it was a, a good time. We didn't film everything. I mean, we were here for uh, four days uh, completely right so we kind of took a snippet of every single day on yes. this trip yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, we spent a lot of family time we did mm -hmm. so, with the um, sisters right mm -hmm. uh, oh well, speaking of sisters we all had our last dinner at ama ama here on the resort right last night. right it was 125 dollars a person mm -hmm. and it was a three course four course four course meal yeah mm -hmm. now i started off with the uh almost like a was it a poke uh, yes, you had the poke. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, it was a little bit on the soy sauce base, but it had great flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, it was delicious, mm -hmm. nice and fresh. And I had the hamachi, which was very good, very citrusy, which was good. And then we moved on to the, we both had oh, the soup. Yeah, yeah, we, mm -hmm. we both had the soup. We both had the soup. Um, and that was shrimp, very good right? and it had shrimp in it yeah very good rich flavors oh yeah in the soup. and i really like it because they pour the soup uh table side yeah right mm -hmm. so it always gives it a more uh elegant feel yes. to it mm -hmm. and for my main um i had the scallops mm -hmm. um, there were three scallops to my order um you know i don't want to compare but but i will yeah because um, we just were there yes, in maui so we yeah. Were, yeah we had the mama's fish house yes. over in maui uh, I think I like that one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, it just was those diver scallops. Uh, they they can't compare to anything. They can't. They yeah, can't. They were so, just yeah, delicious. They're very but good. These these were still delicious. Yes. They were they were excellent. Yes. So if you have like a lighter appetite, I recommend these scallops yes. here. Yes. I had the wagyu fillet. Mm -hmm. Very good. We uh, of course split it. Um, we it came with a little bit of a potato mm -hmm. and a little carrot on there that was very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took a bite of it. It was very yeah. tender. Yes, very yeah. tender. Uh, my sister Linda got the duck. Uh, she thought it was Just good. Okay. Yeah, she mm -hmm. thought it was good. Mm -hmm. You know, not excellent, but they did give you uh, two big pieces. Though. Yes, yes. And yeah. then uh, Leslie had the the fish, the fish of the day, and the fish of the day uh, locally caught was the hamachi, oh, which the is the amber amberjack. Yeah, the amberjack. amberjack. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she loved it. Yeah. She said it was very good. Yeah, and for my dessert, I ended it with like a coconut flan. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful presentation. Uh, that was delicious. And they had a, a chocolate mousse, which was very good. Very yeah. good. S yeah, the sisters also love their desserts. Yeah, yeah. and it's, a, again, $125. It could be a bit pricey, but we thought just spending that family time, mm -hmm. uh, we were there at sunset. So we got our reservation at 5 o'clock. The sunset was at 6.30, so as we're finishing up, beautiful sunset oh, right it, there. It was beautiful, yeah. yeah. In fact, that was one of uh, the goals that we had was to catch a beautiful sunset. Yeah, and we did. It was nice yeah. and clear. It mm -hmm. was. No clouds at yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. So overall, we had a great trip. Great time. Uh, we have one other video on the day that we arrived here. Mm -hmm. We had brunch over at the Four Seasons. Yes, at Lahiki. Um, very good upscale brunch. Mm -hmm. A little bit pricey, but I, th I we think it's worth it oh, because yeah, of all the seafood. It. Seafood, the fresh food there, the premium quality. Yeah, you got to check out that yeah. video. All you can eat lobster. Yeah. You don't have to say more and than that. And the lobster wasn't mealy. It was delicious. And lobster. crab legs. And crab legs. Oh, yeah, yes. as well. And prime rib. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you get the idea. You got to go watch that it one. It was a premium brunch. Yes, it was. Yeah, so uh, well, that wraps it up then. Uh -huh. I think we covered everything. I think we did cover everything. I have a few shout outs. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Aliyah, happy birthday. Charlene uh, Morishige, happy birthday. Glenn, happy birthday, Aaron. Congratulations on your new job. Yes. You did a good job. Uh, Dale and Wendy, happy anniversary. We met Dale and Wendy here. And thank you we so did. everybody mm -hmm. who came up and said hi to us. Yes. Who uh, just, we were, talk story with a lot of people here. Yeah. Which is nice. Whether we're here or in the city, we were just like all over the place. Even thank in the you. elevators. <laughs> Even in the elevators. Thank oh, yeah. you so much for Everywhere. everyone saying hi to us. Yes, we are very much appreciated. And mm -hmm. like we always say, come on if up. you see us around, even if you're filming or mm -hmm. eating, come on and say hi. Come on up. We love to meet you. Yep, yep. Don't. I know some people, when we're filming, some people don't want to approach us. Approach us. We can sure. start all over again. It's and no big deal. You know deal. what? Some have. Yes. They say, hey, you said it. They say, yes. Yeah. Please do. Totally. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So uh, that'll wrap it up from here, uh, from Oahu, mm -hmm. until our next adventure which I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, on this see, one. we have doctor's appointments next week, the yeah. following week. We'll see where we're ending up. Yeah. We want to go to Japan. So we'll see if right. that's even open next for us. Next week is local. Yeah, yeah, next week is local. And mm -hmm. uh, after that is, who knows? Uh, the who world's knows? our oyster. That's right. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you guys in the next one.